Hey everyone, in uh, today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a pretty simple gating effect that I used in my latest remix, uh, Feel It When You Know. I've had a couple requests on how I made this uh, gating effect on a sample. So I'm going to play you the clip of what uh, it sounds like when you apply the effect that this tutorial is describing. Here it is. <laughs> Let me just get out of there. Oh, save. All right, so <clears throat> first thing you're going to want to do is uh, open up a fresh new page with a mixer, maybe a mastering suite on top. And the next thing is you're going to want to open up any type of sampler and open up your sample. So I'll just use that sample, which is from Feel It When You Know Pulse Juno, because that's the Juno synth. Um, and so if I play it, as is, it'll sound like this. All right. <clears throat> so it's a, uh, there's no gate in that sound at all yet. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to right click on your sampler. I'm using Dr. Rex, you can use uh, NNXT whatever you're most comfortable with and you're going to go to create uh, effect and it should take you to your all effects patches menu you're going to click pattern based and then go to your rhythm gate um, now the preset for rhythm gate is pretty cool but it has a little t it had a little too much for me so I took some things out of it to, to, uh, <coughs> to create the effect I wanted for this song <clears throat> So I'm going to show you the exact things I did to create that exact gate from Feel It When You Know Lucky Date Remix. First thing you're going to want to do is click Unison Bypass and Phaser Bypass. That's going to get rid of the Unison and the Phaser inside of this effect. The next thing is you're going to click on, oh well, actually bring down that delay amount a little bit and definitely go over to this volume and bring it down because the, vo the volume is too loud. Now click Show Devices and click the little down arrow on the Thor and click show programmer because this Thor is where that ARP is happening it's happening down here <clears throat> now uh, there's two things that I do down here one is I go over to this LFO 2 and in the uh, amount I'm bringing it down to zero and then go over one more past the filter 3 frequency and bring that amount up to zero this is going to get rid of that, uh, it kind of has a filter effect to it. You're not going to want that sound. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to do is for that big drop that I did in the song, the only automation other than the pitch bend going up on the actual sample was I automated this frequency to go up, 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 and up until the end. And that, this state variable filter, if you mess with that frequency, it's going to widen the heck out of the sound and uh, give you some cool sounds. Um, it's a great effect. So yeah, I highly recommend using this for a gating effect. Um, there's actually some cool stuff you can do within the Dr. Rex player itself. Let me get rid of this rhythm gate. And uh, this gator is, I mean, it's not, it's, it's not really a gator, it's an LFO, but um, it, you're kind of tricking the LFO to sound more like a gator. Uh, what I did was I clicked sync by the LFO and you can go to this rate and bring it up to maybe one eighth uh, bring the amount all the way up and when you look at these waveforms over here I don't want it, when it for a gate sound you're not going to want it to look uh, 
anything like a wow sound, like a wow or a wobble, and that's what this is. So we're going to break it down to three. That looks more like a gate to me. Even the one below it looks a little more like a gate. These two would probably both be okay. The square looking one and the one that's like a downhill slope. And then I'm going to change uh, the LFO to be synced to the filter, not the oscillator, because if it's synced to the oscillator, then that means that the LFO is going to be adjusting the pitch of the sample, whereas I wanted to just adjust this frequency coming out of the filter. So now if I play it, it sounds like this. And there you have it. That's a uh, that's another cool way to gate something pretty quickly. <clears throat> so I hope that this tutorial showed you a little bit about uh, techniques on gating and reason. There's a bunch of things you can do at, for gators, but uh, those are two quick and easy ways to make cool effect. <laughs>